Choose the graph of y equals the natural log of x. And once again, it may be helpful to write this in exponential form. You'd have e to the power of y equals x. So what do we get out of this? Uh, let's use the same values, but again, I'm choosing y. I've got 0, 1, and 2, and negative 1, and negative 2. Let's go ahead and fill those values in. Those are written kind of small. Is that all right? Want to see them okay? All right. Now, you could have used the natural log, just you'll be getting a lot of decimal values, and that's okay, too. So, uh, when we have this, we got uh, 0, 1, which would be this point, and this one, and this one, and this one. Well, two of these are eliminated right away because they don't even go through that 1, 0 point. So, what about these other ones? Uh, as x increases, or as y increases, x does as well. For example, when y is 2, x should be like 7.4, right? Something around here. This graph doesn't go through that point, but this one does. So it looks like this is our answer.